Hello everyone, uh, Mike Henderson here again with uh, the next installment on how to typeset your novel in Scribus. Uh, where we left off is we have set up our pages and uh, our master pages, left and right, uh, first left and right master page. <coughs> We're going to do one more thing, uh, and then we're going to save this thing as a template, because what you're doing, uh, you can always use again if you use the same type of book and use the same font and everything else. Uh, if you look up here, we hit File, uh, New from Template, and there is a Save as Template. So when you get things the way you want, you save it as a template, and henceforth, you can open it. So the next time you do a five and a quarter by eight inch novel, new from template, uh, you've got all the page margin set and everything else. The next thing we're going to have to do here, since we have the master pages established, and by the way, these master pages and styles that we're going to do here, so-called styles in a minute, only apply to the particular document. It's not something that is set as a preference, for example, in the whole thing. So. We don't want to have to redo it every time. Now, uh, I'll show you something here. I have some text. You double click, right click, paste, and up comes the text, which uh, looks like so. But this text started out looking like this. This is EB Garmin. It's uh, indented, it's formatted, it has. Um, Hyphenation, it has uh, right justification. Scribus doesn't care about that. When it comes over here, uh, it does what it's set up to do, not what has already been set up to do somewhere else. So um, I'm going to get rid of that text because I want to show you how to take care of that. So uh, we'll go to Edit Styles. Now, under the styles, it has uh, line styles, paragraph styles, and character styles. Uh, line styles is just the style of the line. For whatever reason, it wants to open up a new one, but I'm just showing you uh, literally a line. So you draw a line or whatever, and you can change how that is done. Um, I don't worry about that in this because I don't use any lines <coughs> at all, uh, other than write one of the title pages or something. So. What determines the font that came up over here is this default character style um, is Arial regular 12 point. Well, I want my novel to be set in EB Garmin, so I go there, regular, and then I, I as a matter of my own personal preference, use 11 and a half point for this font. Each font really looks different in different. Um, Point, uh, different sizes, so you just have to experiment and see what you like best. All the re all the rest of this stays the same, and I will say I'm done. Now I need a new paragraph style because uh, the uh, justification. And the indent, if any, comes from here. So I got a new style. So you, you, you double click on paragraph style, it comes up with the new. Or you can say new down here, or you can right click and put new, whatever you want to do. New style, I'm going to call it first line, no indent, because uh, I'm going to show you why in a minute. Um, First line, no indent. I want it to be, that's all the same. So I want there to be no indentation, which is what this is right here. So this tells me that um, it won't be indented. Character style is EB Garmin that came from character styles down here. Okay, now I want to change the default paragraph style. I'm going to edit it. I guess if I double click it comes up to edit. Now there's two things I want to change here. I want my novel not to be left hand justified. I want it to be fully justified so I click the appropriate box here. Um, 
to worry about drop caps. I got a video on how to do that. That is the big capital letter at the beginning of a sentence in the first line of a chapter that some books have, and I'll show you how to do that in a different video. Now I want indentation. Well, you can click and drag this thing around, but I find it to be you know, hard to get it exactly where you want it. I want this to be 0.25, so I just type in here 0.25, press tab to uh, accept it, and that's it. Uh, so now the default is set to be uh, right justified and indented on the first line of each paragraph. Uh, well, um, so then I have to go to character style. The thing is, this won't take necessarily until I go here and tell it I'm done. And um, that's that. The, the, the strange part about the editing the paragraph styles, for example, is that there isn't any accept, you know, save or accept or apply or whatever. It all has to be done through here, which sometimes it doesn't pop up, but when you go like that, it does. So it goes done. Okay. So that applies it. So now, when I put this text in here, it comes up um, fully justified and indented by quarter of an inch on each paragraph, which is how I want it. Now, this is uh, the first line of a new chapter, and I don't want that indented. If you look at most books, not all necessarily, but most books do not indent the first line of a new chapter and do not indent the first line of a new section or a scene, you know, if there is some kind of a break in between. So that's why I went over here and I did the style. Um, edit the style. That's why I put first line no indent, which for some reason now is indented. All right, so I'm going to edit that. And I'm going to put that at zero. Now you saw that we did that, so maybe this is a uh, idiosyncrasy of this. Now we're going to do an experiment. If I go right click, I can see the word apply and everything else because it was always there. If I go here, I do F2. Let's do something else. Let's go to edit text. And it has the text here. And then over here is whether or not there is a style set. Well, the whole document is the default style, if you will, so that we don't worry about. But here, I want to put this line here over to the left. So I'm going to select drop-down menu, first line, no indent, and see what it does. Green check. Now, it didn't do anything. Why not? Because when I went over here and I edited the styles, I did first line no indent. I made this, and this is how it comes up. I can move all over creation here. I can look at the first, you know, the default, first default paragraph. I can go back to first line no indent, and it looks like it's there, but it's not. What you've got to do for some reason is you've got to go to character, edit, and then tell it you're done. And then it takes. So you can see this moved over. It's an idiosyncrasy of it, but um, unless you go to the char default character setting, edit, and say done, it won't um, accept the change in the any of these um, paragraph styles. So there you go. Now. You know, in the, in the video, a lot of times I will just go, I will select this. If I want this changed, come on, I put the cursor where I want it, and then I will move this around. Okay. 
I'm not sure it's any harder to do that than it is to use you know, set up the uh, paragraph. In any case, I'm going to get rid of this text, and I'm going to now save this file, save as template, and I'm going to call it um, uh, 5.25. I'm not sure. Let me do a point. Let's find out. 0.25 by 8. Novel. And let's see if that does it. Yeah, I don't know what it did. Oh, okay. So, uh, video demo, this is now going to be, uh, I'm sorry, 8.25 novel, whoops, 5.25 by 8 novel, okay, now, hopefully, uh, this is still the old file that I had, so I'm going to say uh, file open um, new uh, new from template. So I'm going to go there, and I have here somewhere. These are the templates that this thing has, and uh, novel chapters 8.25. Which it, uh, here it is. It's got a, it's a number, so it's 5.25 by 8 novel. Okay. And there it is. With any luck, it's got all the pages, it's got the margin set up, and it's got our uh, edit styles. It's got our first line no indent style, and our master page styles. So now you're ready to go with uh, entering the text and you have a, t a nice template set up.